Hello guys, my name is Vidit. I'm a data scientist and this is my second video here. Uh, in my first video, we installed the Ubuntu operating system. So in my comment box, I already given the link. You can install the Ubuntu operating system before start work on Apache Kafka. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, in this video, we will discuss how we can uh, uh, complete the prerequisite before to start work in Apache Kafka, how uh, we, we would require a few things here. We would require the Java. We would require uh, to set up the uh, log paths for Zookeeper and Kafka Broker. And then we can test the, if, if the Zookeeper is running successfully and the broker is running successfully because without Zookeeper, the broker cannot work so let us start it today so here uh, this is a window it's my ubuntu operating system so i'm just simply opening the terminal port once i go here i'm simply into the home window and i'm checking whether i'm having the java it's showing the command Java is not found, so we we do require to install the Java first. So I'm installing it. I'm simply mentioning for uh, Apache Kafka, we would require at least version eight uh, JDK, so we can have that. So it's installing now. So installation is going to complete now. On the other hand, uh, we can open our browser also. Okay, I'm uh, simply typing Apache Kafka. Uh, we would require to download the Apache Kafka, whatever the latest uh, version available. We would require to download Apache Kafka libraries. So um, you can open this link, kafka.apache.org. And here you can see the download Kafka button, just click on it. Here you can see we have a binary download Scala 2.12. So let's download this one. Here are the links going. I'm checking whether I have downloaded it before or not. So just checking that, yes, I have it. So you can download it from, after click on this link, okay. So let's see uh, whether our Java is complete or not. Yes, it is. Let's check the version of the Java. And here, yes, our uh, Java JDK is, has been installed on this Ubuntu operating system. That is very good. Now let's uh, move to the download folders let me clear this before and let's move to the download folder and here you can see we have this kafka uh, the download file the libraries whatever the libraries are available let's uh, unzip those <coughs> Let's write a uh, command tar xvf and the name of the file kafka underscore 2.12 tree 
point zero point zero point tcc and yes it's going to unzip now this will be unzip in the same folder if you see that you can see here we have this unzip folder right let's go there let's take it or first we can do one thing let's rename it it's a simple like kafka okay and let's cut this or copy this and put this on the home here okay so once we put this we can see it has a bin and config and libs and there are many other files available here so what would what we will do now let's check what is the path of this file and it's coming as home slash with it right so home slash with it slash kafka and we have these uh, folders okay let's go to the command prompt again let's clear it let's go to the home window again and if you check here we have a folder here called kafka right uh, let's use command ll it will show you some of the uh, best uh, one of the uh, file here called bash src here we can now uh, set up the path of our uh, uh, bin file basically and uh, after that uh, further we can update the uh, zookeeper and uh, and and uh, broker file so let's type another command nano dot bash src okay so if you come down so just go to the end of this file here you can your you will write we are just setting up a path we are nothing as going to do this time just mentioning the same path which i told you it's a with it under that we have a kafka under that we have a bin file colon and a dollar symbol and path okay just uh, with it kafka bin yes just use control s control x okay and uh, just uh, let's close this window either uh, we can check uh, cd kafka if it is yeah so uh, if you go into the kafka it is having uh, bin config lips and many other folders right and we have set up a path there till bin so whatever the uh, file inside the bin those will come in directly these are called basically dot sh file sh file and here you can see there is a windows folder also so these are somewhere like in windows we have a batch file and here these files are basically uh, the sh file is for ubuntu i mean the linux operating system so if you see one of the file like uh, kafka topics sh this uh, this batch file is used to uh, is used to create uh, the topics basically if you see here this zookeeper server start we use this best batch file to start our zookeeper server if you see this kafka server start.sh file we use this file to start our broker so um, uh, you will get the whole idea about the Apache Kafka one by one but before that in this video we are just completing our prerequisites uh, okay guys uh, so we are here uh, just check the path again I think we had some mistake in that file in path basically okay let's correct it again and that we know like it is home with it slash kafka sorry it would be for slash slash uh, so bin folder right so draw a 
press Control X. And if you try, let's clear this window. And I think it's the, this is a normal command where that you can see it's, it's working fine or not, no found. Let's open this in a new window cd kafka folder and if you simply type kafka topics dot sh that's mean i mean if it is working you can say oh uh, yeah java is stalled and kafka uh, this path is also working here so now uh, we can see uh, under this bin we have many other uh, these are the sh file and if you see uh, the config folder we have the properties file like server.properties and the zookeeper.properties so let's change those uh, like first we'll change the zookeeper.properties i mean what we are going to do this time we are just setting up the correct log path here so if you see uh, we have the kafka folder here and inside that it, uh, we have to create a folder where we'll we will have all the data the data basically to maintain the uh, uh, the backup messages backup or data backup basically to for the kafka so we have a data folder under the data folder we can create Two more folder light one is a zookeeper folder for zookeeper purpose and another one would be the server let's suppose okay so if you see the path of this file it is a uh, home with its kafka data and we have a zookeeper right so let's go to that and let's edit it okay let's come down and here you is you see the data directory is a temp zookeeper we have a zookeeper but before that we have a home we have a with it then we have a kafka slash data right this is your folder so just change it by the client port is 2181 for zookeeper just control x control x right the same thing we will do with the zookeeper the server dot properties and if you go down you can see the broker id was zero there and here we have to again change the path so these are the kafka log slash home slash with it slash kafka slash data slash server okay control s control x that's all to change let's clear this and let's try if our kafka zookeeper is working fine or not dot kafka start Oh, sorry let me check what are the files here Bin. Uh, so guys uh, you can see the zookeeper uh, is already running here and uh, as I told you like the port is 2181 which is inside the zookeeper dot properties now we can start our uh, uh, broker here so for then we can write the command like kafka server start out as config dot server dot properties so let's see if it is running successfully or not it is required the zookeeper should be run must be run and here is the broker id zero which is mentioned in the server dot properties and yes it is working now it is connected uh, as you can see like uh, that port for the uh, broker basically the kafka broker is 9092 um, in my next video uh, we will start to work how we will create the kafka topic this was the part first in next video we will create the topics we will create the producer and on the other hand the consumer producers will send the messages 
to the topic on the topic and the consumer will consume those messages using that same topic so this was the part first video where we have the all prerequisite how to set up the kafka how to set up uh, we required the java also and how to start zookeeper how to start a broker if you required anything if you like this video please like it or any comment please like please uh, mention the comments in further videos we will start uh, producer consumer and then we will have consumer groups then we will have replications and uh, partitions things so you will learn everything one by one so whatever i have done practically i will uh, fully explained here in my videos so thank you so much for this time and we will meet in next video if you require the ubuntu server you can um, uh, go to my first video where we uh, first set up the ubuntu server uh, operating system even you have a windows operating system on that you can install the ubuntu operating system please watch my first video and then you can set up the kafka server here and further we can move ahead so this time thank you so much